I left a lot of you viewers hanging about 10 months ago with a white claw cowboy hat and the visor video that I put out. It was just a, basically a demonstration of what the hat looked like once it was completed. And a lot of you, I think, were anticipating maybe a video where I actually went through the steps on making the hat. Well, I did put out a video with the, with the visor and I made a tutorial on how to do that and I will link that up here and also down in the description so you can check that video out. And as it turns out, as I was cleaning up my SD card with some old videos, I did find some footage that I made the cowboy hat with and I was going to share that with you guys today in a time-lapse fashion. I'll just do a little voiceover because I don't want to bore you with all the, the minor details of the nuances that go on with, with making the hat. But I will show you in a time-lapse of act, how I made the actually put the hat together. But before we begin, this is the obligatory part where I tell you guys to remember to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, so basically what I'm doing here is taking the box and as carefully as I can, taking it apart without damaging it anymore. As you can see over here by my right hand where the label has already been torn from where the box is being carried. Just basically going to uh, remove any excess material that's just kind of hanging off. Um, I'm thinking about maybe using those little pieces that were over to the right, but my main objective is to get this major portion of the label peeled off from the cardboard so that it can be cut down and sized. This is a time consuming process, but it's necessary with all five boxes that I use to construct this cowboy hat. Now I can go to my clear transfer template and uh, kind of lay the, the labels out to get an idea of which ones I'm going to use for the front of the hat, the back of the hat, and the sides and see where any gaps are that are going to have to be filled in, especially in the middle there where I just replaced it with the, uh, the cans. I actually had to splice a couple pieces together to make the, the image line up perfectly, but that's just something necessary that has to be done to make sure you have enough label to, to accommodate for the whole part of the hat. So now what I'm doing here is just adding some clear scotch tape, piecing these um, parts together so that it makes it easier to transfer onto the poster board. Instead of having you know three separate pieces, it will all just be one solid panel. And then after removing any excess tape that is left over on the sides, I take my aluminum straight edge ruler and make sure that both sides are perfectly straight and with a clean cut. And now we go over to the main template and I have my pieces that are partitioned and separated and I use my Super 77 spray adhesive and put the label onto the poster board and go back over the critical seams with clear scotch tape. That way when the hat is bent and formed into shape, those edges won't have the tendency to pop up. So now I'm just gonna take my straight edge and pre-bend the sides and make a light score down the middle so that when you make the top portion of the crown and press down, it will automatically pre-bend in the middle. So yeah, now of course, obviously you're gonna grab the hot glue gun, match up your, your ends and make sure that your labels are going to um, match up perfectly. Gluing the sides of the hat tends to be um, a problem for a lot of people when they're making these hats out of boxes that have a slick finish on it. Um, this particular hat did have a slick finish on it and I end up resorting to using those clips and a scouring pad to scrub off some of the, the slick finish. I think it's a, like a wax coating that they put on there, but 
Yeah, just take a little scour pad and, and lightly buff that and it will allow your hot glue to adhere to the paper a whole lot better and you'll have more success with adhesion. Once I cut off the excess material that's hanging off the bottom of the hat, I always check the fitment with my template and then proceed to go and brainstorm and figure out what I want the top part of the brim to look like. This is usually um, you know, the creative part of where I can put the label and make it legible from different angles. And obviously when it's on the bottom of the brim, it's gonna have to be read at a certain way that when you flip it up, you know, you'll be able to read it and it won't be upside down. Before I can mate the top and the bottom parts of the brim together, the elastic has to be sewn into the bottom portion first. With the crown centered on the top portion of the brim, I take a little bit of hot glue and just do the front and the back. And then I'll fold my tabs down on the side and slowly go around the hat. That way there's no bunching or creasing as I go around the circumference of the crown. Once all the tabs for the crown are glued to the bottom of the top of the brim, the next step is to verify that the back and the front are in their corresponding directions for the top and the bottom of the brim. And I lightly put a couple dabs of hot glue to tack these two surfaces together. Once I've verified the alignment of the top and the bottom parts, I just add a little bit of extra glue right around the center above where the elastic is. That way it secures the hat right around where your head you go. And of course, trim up the extra excess material that's hanging off from the bottom. And then we're gonna add in the 16 gauge wire and sew that in and be done. So that's about the extent of the videos that I have left over from when I made the cowboy hat. The only thing that you guys didn't really see was where I got the sewing machine out and actually stitched in that metal ring that goes around the outside to basically form the hat up and help it keep its shape. But if you did like this video, please do like it and share it. That way other people can see, you know, the kind of work that I'm doing here. And I hope you guys really did enjoy it. And we'll see you next time.